never saw her before in my life. I believe fate brought us together. Hi, this is how you knew me in the parent trap. Or perhaps like this, but never like this. I'm Susan Henning Shuta, and I was the other twin in the parent trap. Finally, both of you together at last. Haley did do many of the scenes by herself when it was the direct face on like we're sitting now. When you saw the two of them talking, and there would be a shoulder, a side view, or a three-quarter, that other twin was myself. <laughs> the split screen, there was a very definite criteria that had to be held to strictly. They would give us a landmark. So if you were acting, even if it was Haley, and they were doing one for both of her, I would still be on the other side that she could relate to. So we'd be laughing like in the piano scene and dancing, let's get together, and we both had our guitars. We knew we could only go so far in our boundary, and yet you still had to be animated and stay within that boundary. If I put my elbow too far, it would be cut off. Let's get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started my acting career at six, and then one day they had been looking for quite a few months for the exact uh, clone <laughs> of Haley. Then our agent called and said, I know you'll have the job. They want someone that looks like Haley. An amazing resemblance. I had to be at the right age, at the right place, at the right time. And it was just sort of a done deal. We, we matched. The first time I met Haley was in the limousine to go together to the studio. And we got to know each other a little bit. And it was just amazing how much we truly looked alike. Where's your home? California. And we even felt a similarity. And we were certainly size-wise similar. We went back to the wardrobe and they were fitting us. It turned out we had the same dress size, same shoe size. The only thing, her hair was a little longer. So when she had the long hair, it was her own long hair and I had to wear a wig. She had a little fuller lips than I did. So they started out with a roll of, it was actually just tissue paper that they rolled and stuck under my top lip under the hill. And if you try to talk like that, and your mouth dried up, and I couldn't talk, and we did that for a few scenes, and they let me get away without that. Then her nose is a little fuller than mine. So uh, Pat, the makeup man, did Haley's cast of her nose, and it was a, a type of a rubber, and they would glue the nose on. Oh, it itched, and it stuck to my face, and every day they would put acetone and pull it off, and my second day, Uncle Walt came walking by and he saw my little red nose and he says, no, we don't need the nose anymore. So we dropped the nose. Well, and she we also had we um, begun to, to develop a little bit. And together. I was still in my undershirts. So I wore a little padded bra. And she was a little more womanly than I. She had a little fuller bottom. So there was a few little variations, but our basic shape was very, very similar. And our bone structure. I think they really wanted the viewer to think that it was starring Haley Mills and Haley Mills. And the only paper I was asked to sign was to sign away my rights on the billing as Susan Henning didn't exist. And that was, that was fine with me. I, I just had fun doing the film. Come on. I was one of the group. I'm just dying to get into a hot shower after that long train trip. Sue, you just wouldn't be like There was never, ever, ever a time that I felt less important than these stars. Everybody was a big family. Susan, go. Yes, Daddy? Yes, Daddy? That's not funny. A fun aspect of, of doing the film was meeting Haley's family, her father, John, and her mother, Mary. One day, Haley and I were sitting on the curb just outside of the set and Mary came over and tapped me on the head and said, Haley, come on. So even our mothers got us confused when we were in the same outfits with the same wigs. Oh, this one is Susan, the smart aleck here. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure I know my own daughter, don't I? We've kept in touch for 40 years now. We send Christmas cards. She did a play, King and I, and my husband and I flew up to Washington and saw her and met for dinner. One of the, the fondest memories I have was I, I felt so important. Haley was a star. It was Brian Keith and Maureen O'Hara and, and Leo G. Carroll and, and Joanna Barnes, all these wonderful, wonderful, well-known actresses and actors. And I went through the film thinking that I'm making the film. Nobody will know it's me. I met a bunch of fun people. I had fun. We were just part of a family.
And then it came time for the wrap party, and I thought they were planning a surprise for, I don't know, Haley or something. Just the, I remember the excitement. And then they had me out of the room, and I walked into the room, and Uncle Walt invited me over to him, and I walked over to him, and he brought up this, and it's called a duckster. And there's only three in the world. Uncle Walt has one, and then someone did a humanitarian, and I don't remember what it was, but it was an award for a, a person that did something very good for something. And I got the third one, and it says, um, to Susan Henning, the best unseen performance by an actress. So I was recognized by a very important person, and I'll hold that very special in my heart forever.